Give yourself a round of applause for choosing us. I'm your captain today, Captain Sid B. Slicker. Yep, that's right, that's me. I believe in I'm a Coast Guard licensed captain. Yep, you guys see these stripes? That was a good way to anyone, alright? You gotta buy them. 28 bucks. This shop, a boil a little too hot, it caught fire, I tried to put it out with the water, which just made it spread quicker. And rule number two is let's put a Starbucks coffee in every corner downtown. Now, uh, rule number two is that all the entrances to the buildings must be built 10 feet above the tide flats because I want to sell the tide flats below. So they raised the entrances 10 feet, they raised the roads 10 feet, it took them 20 years to raise the sidewalks. Besides the hardest working man in Seattle, it's hammering man. Stands 48 feet tall, weighs 26,000 pounds. Uh, it's pretty much the high of the Seattle Art Museum, which is also located right here to you. That's where you're going to want to go. And Rachel Pig's down there too, yeah. Also to your left, and I started. Alright you guys, get ready to hop on that Highway 99, we take us up top speeds of uh, 33 miles per hour. So on the count of three, you need to be... for this thing.
side, you'll see the two outboard motors. Now a house barge is just what you see there, minus the motors and the steering. However, since house barges have to be tugged in, tied into the dock, you can't make way in the lake by themselves, they have to pay a property tax. That's what they did, they threw some outboard motors on it, steering Side. That is Gap 1993, star Tom Hanks, original Meg Ryan. Was well, recently voted by the American Film Institute as one of the top 10 romantic comedies of all time. That's well, not to be taken lightly. That's uh, so right there on that deck where Tom Hanks stood and watched the fireworks. Also, right there is where he ran around in circles looking for his son, went to New York to meet his new mom. Uh, interesting fact about that home is that a couple bought that home after the movie was shot there for $600,000. Just recently sold it for $4.2 million. Yeah.